and a quick video of uh, flipping the GPU over. That's useful for the Fondos edition of the 3000 series NVIDIA cards. So there's a modification I had to do. Um, I guess first I, I dremeled a little piece here so that it would fit. I dremeled it on the card mount side so I didn't have to dremel through the thicker aluminum of the case or damage the case. Uh, obviously the mount doesn't work as great as it should. You can see it's almost aligned, like I can always realign it by hand, but it just it moves a little bit because it's not super stiff. Um, this could be fixed by first making this cut symmetrical so that you have the little thing here on both sides. Then having this mount system the same on both sides with one more hole so that you can fix the side mount would be great so you can just flip it and that it looks normal <laughs> no matter what uh, be nice otherwise uh, you can see the PSU plug here it would be under the card so I think this one's easier to fix by just moving a tiny bit more outboard it doesn't really need that much obviously it will depend on the graphic card but I think it would fit with most of them by putting it any more outboard maybe even the the little cable clamp thing here on the other side gives you even more space and would make sense to me. And if you do this, also please make this slightly less long so that the screwdriver can go straight into the screw hole, <laughs> which I'm sure you know is a problem, not a big deal. Otherwise, um, I had to remove the structural reinforcement here so the cable fits. However, if you get a longer cable for this very card on the exist, I don't think you need that. I think you can have the cable go from the other side and back in. That said, for compatibility, I think I would just have another hole right there uh, for the cable, so one on each side. And here, if you can see in the dark, I'm not sure, that the old screw hole for the PCIe riser mount. I drilled and I threaded uh, two others that are exactly the same on the other side. And you can see where it's attached here. So the riser is reversed. Um, you can buy a reverse riser. That's probably better because it's not too bad, but you see the, the band is real. <laughs> so I don't know how long that's gonna work, but I could see that breaking. That could be a problem. Same thing, the the uh, DVI, <laughs> well, not DVI, I think display port is now incorrect side, but yep, that's on me. And lastly, here, if I can show you that somehow. There you go. Oh, you see those little pillars. So this is where the shredded new holes are. They are at uh, 2.1 centimeter from the edge of the board. And I use the two um, little mounts that were in the box and then I didn't have the other compatible ones. So I used nylon ones that were the same size that I had laying around. And um, this works perfect. Uh, it's exactly the right size. However, uh, of course, nylon is more flexible, but even with the metal, I think it would still be pretty flexible. And ideally, I think I would recommend an aluminum bracket instead. That maybe could be optional, but you know, not a big deal. All in all though, this works great. The thermals are awesome. Uh, the thermals from this case were awesome to bake in with. Um, these cards made them a little worse because you would just push out here against the plate and against the SSD, like right against the SSD. It doesn't anymore. Now it pulls the hot hair from the SSD on any hot hair that gets trapped between the two from the motherboard. So now the thermals are amazing, basically. So it's pretty great.